Ruffo sets out so funny. Dory, she's like a bunny. But Simon, he's so serious. He goes out to win the money. It's the Four Set Funny Show. It's the Four Set Funny Show, yeah. It's the Four Set Bunnies. The Four Set Bunnies. How funny can the Four Sets be? It's the Four Set Funny Show, yeah. The Four Set Funny Show. It's the four set bunnies, the four set bunnies. How funny can the four sets be? Wait and see. Yeah. Doris, Doris, wake up. Oh, 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 Simon, I fell asleep. Yes, you were talking in your sleep, sweetheart. It sounded like we're saying something in one of your foreign languages. <laughs> was I really? Guess what I was dreaming about, Simon. Have three guesses. Uh, was it something to do with the television blowing up? <laughs> no. About me banging my head in the ceiling in the basement? Oh, that was a long time ago. No. Well, was it anything to do with me? Well, partly. Oh, I realise. Was I speaking in Malay? Uh, yes, actually, I think you were. I think you said bagus. Oh, bagus means good. Yeah. Oh, was it something to do with when we lived in Brunei we were dreaming about? Yes. Oh, right. Remember Peg and Ronnie, that Chinese couple from the church we went to in Brunei? And their little daughter Lydia? Oh, yeah, I, re I remember them very well, yeah. Well, you know they had a son as well after we left Brunei and they called him Joshua. Oh, that's right, yes. So, what did you dream about then, Doris? Well, I don't know. Or sort of. Well, at first, I dreamt about being at the house where we lived in Brunei. Oh. And I think I dreamt about when Mike was a baby. And about the cats, Chico and Timmy. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, right, yes. And you know what? <clears throat> what? I remember too well when you had a beard. <laughs> yeah. And then just before you woke me up, I was in front of Peg and Ronnie and Lydia. And I was trying to say something to them, but I'm not quite sure what I said. And then my dream just starts to get hazy. Oh, right. Well, I, I've heard uh, the names Peg and, and Ronnie mentioned, come to think of it now, so yeah. Um, and uh, also, I, I heard you said uh, Terim Makas, and I remember that's, that means thank you, doesn't it, so yeah. Oh, yes. That's right. And, oh. I'm just thinking about all these wonderful times we had in Brunei, didn't we, Simon? It was so wonderful. Yes. Anyway, um, I must go off to the dentist now, my friend, sweetheart. We can talk more about it later. Okay. Bye, Simon. Bye, Doris. Now, what do I need? What do I need to do today? Oh, yes, I remember. At some stage, I must ask Simon to teach me how to email. He said he would, but he keeps forgetting about it. Oh, my word, it's so hot today. Hi, Simon. Hi, sweetheart. Wow, isn't it hot today? Yeah, I'm roasting. Can I have a glass of water, please? Okay. Simon. <laughs> 
Yeah. I think you should have a bit of a shower. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sweetheart, that's enough. It's supposed to be like this all week, so I just heard on the radio, sweetheart. Oh, my word, is it? This is far too hot for me. It was hotter than this in Brunei, though, Thomas, wasn't it? <gasps> was it really? Yes, it was. If you remember, sweetheart, or should I say, sweat out. <laughs> <laughs> in the height of summer, it was in the late thirties. Wow. But here it's much more sort of unbearable. Maybe just because we are not used to it so much in England. Well, it's much damper in this country. Of course, you get a lot more lush green grass here than you do in Brunei, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Yes. Well, anyway, how was it at the dentist? It was okay. I only had to wait a couple of minutes when I got there. I went in, she examined my teeth, and she said they're fine. Oh, good. Oh, yes, Simon. I was wondering if when you check the emails, you would quickly be able to show me how to send an email. Please, Simon. You promised you would ages ago. Well, you say quickly, Swinger. How long do you think it'll take? Well, if you're patient, and I am patient, which I promise to be, then it won't take too long. Okay, I'll try and teach you. I'll, um, right, I'll go down and check the emails first. Great, huh? Okay, well, call me when you're ready, Simon. Okay. Oh, what emails have we had today then? <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Doris? Are you ready for me, Simon, now? Yes, come and see this, Doris. You won't believe this. Look, who sent an email today. <gasps> wow! Uh, Peck and Ronnie. Yes, you were just talking about them this morning, weren't you, sweetheart? Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. So they thought about us at the same time. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's absolutely incredible. So mm, let's see what they say. Well, so it says, Dear Simon and Doris, greetings from Brunei. Oh, I love Brunei. Oh, wow. Oh, Lydia and Joshua are coming to England. Lydia is 23 and working in a bank in Manchester, so she's She's going to live in a flat, I see, and, and Joshua is, oh, he's studying English at university, he's 18, so he, he's coming, oh, just till Christmas, wow, oh, amazing, oh, oh, I see they ask if we can pick them up from Manchester Airport, they'll be arriving on the 9th of September. Oh, at 3 p.m. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, that would be nice to see them again, wouldn't it, Doris? I see. So, I wonder if we can do that. Pick them up, Simon. I'll wonder on 9th September. Oh, best wishes, love, Peg. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll go and find my diary then, Simon, and see if it's okay. Will you check yours? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll get my diary out and see if I'm okay that day. <laughs>